limit of detection and limit of quantitation are phrases that you'll hear as a chromatographer, but what do they mean? Well, let's start with the limit of detection. The limit of detection, or LOD, is the smallest quantity of analyte that is significantly different from the blank. Huh? Well, there are several ways to calculate out your LOD. So first is a visual inspection. So we're going to do a visual inspection. We're going to look at the peak. Um, it's extremely arbitrary, and it's open to operator bias. Let's take a look at some chromatograms so I can show you what I mean. So we've got two chromatograms here. Um, the bottom one, we can say, yeah, I see a peak there. It's a little noisy, but it's a peak. But the top one, could you say there's a peak in the same area? I have a hard time looking at it. I think I couldn't convince anybody else. And you know, even convincing myself would be tough. Plus, could I reliably integrate this peak from injection to injection? Probably not. So let's move on to the next one. The next is signal to noise. So signal to noise is a ratio. And because there's calculations in there, it seems a little bit more concrete, a little bit more quantitative, but it's not without some issues. So first is, how are we going to measure our noise? So if we take a look, we have uh, a low point there and three high points in a row right there. So we could say, that's our noise. But most of the noise doesn't fall within that, you know, doesn't fall there. It's a lot closer together. So we take a look and we measure what we call core noise, ignoring some of the outliers, but most of the noise falls within there. Then we have to take our reading. So our reading of our, of our peak is actually measured from the center of our noise. So here, our center's a little bit higher and our peak, so we've got a, a much larger setup. But if we take a look at this one here, so now our peak is, you know, we're measuring from here, our peak looks a little bit smaller. So they do give two different answers. So how do you measure your signal to noise is going to open up some, some challenges. The third would be, uh, a calculation based on multiple standard injections. And within this, there are actually two ways to do this. So the first way would be to create a calibration curve, which I have here. Then you would measure your standard error, error from each point to the center of your regression line. You would average that together. So you have your average standard error. Then you would calculate out the slope of your line. You'd take 3.3, multiply it by your average standard error, divide it by your slope. That's your limit of detection. You would verify this by using your low point and you would inject seven times to make sure that it meets your criteria of, yeah, there is a peak there. It's barely discernible, but I can reliably uh, integrate it each time. So I know that that's near the limit of my detection. The other way would be to flip that around. So based on multiple experiments with this, you would do seven injections at your low point. You would take your standard deviation of those seven points multiply that by 3.3. You still have to make a calibration curve, and then you would take that slope and divide it into your 3.3 times your standard deviation. So 3.3 times your standard deviation divided by your slope gives you your uh, limit of detection. Again, you would have to verify this through experimentation, make sure that it meets your criteria of LOD. Both of them are going to give very similar answers. I did this the other day and I got about a 0.5 difference and it was really easy to do. So what is limit of quantitation? So limit of quantitation is three times greater than your limit of detection. Why do we do this? Well, we want to make sure that we have a peak that is 100% identifiable and it is very uh, reliable to integrate every single time. So the calculation is 10 times your standard deviation or 10 times your standard error divided by your slope. So we make sure that it's about three times greater than your LOD. These calculations are just estimates of your LOD and your LOQ, and they need to be determined by injecting multiple samples uh, at your LOQ to determine if it meets your performance requirements. The LOD and LOQ are method specific, so if anything changes in your method, you have to recalculate. So changing out your flow rate makes your, makes your limit of detection different than it was before. Uh, again, these are just guidelines and you need to check with your institution to make sure that they don't have a different way
to calculate our LOD and LOQ for your method. Please like and subscribe and make sure to click the bell icon to receive more content from Lucidity.